What's going on YouTube? Kevin Reese here, back with another video. Thank you all for stopping by my channel. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button that's down here to your right. Go ahead, don't click that like button, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that if you, if you post a comment, I usually respond back to you and I try to do it within a couple of days. So a lot of you might be wondering why I haven't been posting as many videos as I as I used to. I was pretty hot on it for a while. I've been really busy with uh, other other parts of my life right now. School mainly. As a lot of you know, I'm a, I'm a registered nurse. I work in the ICU. My goal is to get into CRNA school, uh, so I have been preparing for that. One main test is the GRE. A lot of schools require it. Some don't. The school I applied to requires it. I wanted a minimum score of a 300. I scored a 287. did the best I could. Uh, I'll show you over here, there's all this review material that I had. Keep in mind, a lot of this stuff, uh, was math that I, I never covered in uh, college, like probability and statistics, stuff like that. I never had to take it as part of my curriculum, so of course I never took it because why waste the time and the money? But it could benefit me right now uh, with some of this, with, with tests like that. So here's some vocabulary. We got GRE, 500 cards, guys. I memorized these things, went through each one of them, uh, kind of wrote, you know, even on the back of them, like uh, you see here, I would underline some stuff. And on the back of them, I, I kind of simplified the definitions. So I, look, I was looking at those. So these are all uh, just kind of like review stuff I had to do. Um, you can see I've got pages and pages, pages. So solving linear linear equations, solving quadratic equations by factoring, calculating different kinds of interest. You get the idea. And then here's the book here. So I picked this up, went through the entire book. Anyway, guys, if you don't know, that is a very hard test. It's the GRE is the graduate record exam. A lot of graduate schools require it to get into grad school. Uh, like I said, some of them don't. Uh, depending on your GPA or some programs just don't require it all together so I'm kind of looking at those programs just because I I could do better but you know where you get I feel like if I I feel like at this point I would have to take a prep class it's gonna cost extra money I'm gonna have to spend extra time and money to do it and I was 13 points shy of their minimum and it really just kind of bummed me out but you know myself along with 99 other people didn't get in so I don't feel too bad and I know plenty of CRNAs, all of them get rejection letters. So, and they're CRNAs now, so. So anyway, y'all, y'all know I work night shift. Good morning, even though it's nighttime. So right now, what I'm doing is, uh, I haven't done this in a while, but I'm just gonna go train, hit the gym on an empty stomach, come back, and uh, I'm gonna work on, I'm looking at doing, getting some school stuff done. Also working on taking my CCRN. And one of my subscribers told me, uh, or one of my viewers told me recently, Kevin, you look like you've gained weight and uh, said something like, do more cardio, eat less calories. Well, no duh. But as a matter of fact, I have gained weight and I'm going to show you and, and I've done it for a reason. So before, uh, you've seen a lot of my videos, um, my, my weight range from probably one, 160 in the 160s, maybe 170 at the max. So I decided uh, several months ago to go ahead and try to bulk up. Um, I wanted to go ahead and put on some weight and just you know lean down after that but still keep the weight uh so i started weighing at 170. my goal weight was 180 which i've hit that i was actually on the scale the other night at the gym i'm 181 so a little extra fat but you have to understand that you have to have the clay in place in order to to mold your sculpture does that make sense so you can't you can't build and shape the muscle if you don't have the size there, if that makes sense. So, and you and if you're bulking, you know it's okay to gain a little bit of fat. I've gained some fat around my belly. My six pack isn't as defined as it used to be, but that's okay because you know I'm, everybody's different. But I've always been thin. I have a fast metabolism, so for me to go in, it's not going to take me long to lean down. But my goal is to still keep the weight. So therefore, I'm still trying to maintain the. Uh, 2800 calories a day for me roughly which with my bulk I was doing like 3200 about 3250 calories a day it was a lot it was like 403 grams of carbs 160 odd grams of protein so it was tough but you can do it it was hard to eat that much but I did it so I've hit my I've hit that so if you're wondering yeah I do look a little bit bigger because I am just throwing that out there for y'all 
So I'm gonna go ahead now and hit the gym. Like I said, good morning. <laughs> Going out here to the car. Well, Y'all can hear that. These bullfrogs out here this pond tonight are loud. Mm -hmm. Right. Y'all can probably hear that. They've kind of they've quieted down some, but you can still hear them. All right, y'all, so at the gym, and y'all probably think this is crazy, I wanted to show y'all so you see the time here, guys. 11.33, 23.33 p.m. So this is kind of, uh, it's a little bit late for me. I'm normally out of here a little bit earlier than that, but got a little later start tonight. Joy's the night shift, gotta love it. So tonight I'm doing, tonight I'm doing back. So it's gonna be back, abs, and some cardio. Let's get it. Here again, one of the reasons I love coming at night, whole gym to myself. So we're gonna mix up this pre-workout here, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started, y'all. Back, abs, and cardio. All right, y'all, so I've been doing pull-ups lately uh, on the Smith machine, and the reason I do that is because I can jump. I'm doing like at least like 20 reps when I do my, my sets, so like three sets of 20 is kind of what I've eased back into trying to get some higher reps. But what I end up doing is, is you know, doing half of them and then jumping kind of to get the rest of them just so I can get the reps in. You get an awesome, awesome pump. Um, arms, arms and back are killing me the next day. y'all so this next exercise I'm gonna do right here is just a little bit of curls I've been doing this lately because uh, after I do like say a back workout I'll do like one bicep exercise just because you're hitting a lot of buys when you're doing your back uh, and with chest I'll do like one tricep exercise and uh, I still do like a separate I set aside a separate day where I train uh, primarily buys and tries but um, for today, uh, we're gonna hit a little bicep. And I like to do these like little machines because I normally don't incorporate them. Uh, for example, like this bicep curl machine here, I incorporate that and as well as this tricep machine, tricep press, I'll do that like on my chest day. So I did that yesterday. So anyway guys, we're gonna hit some bicep, uh, do some abs and cardio, call it a night. So that's my ab routine, some crunches, hits, little leg raises, and uh, you know, your core, your whole core, your spine, lower back, all that, that's your core. People think core is just abs, but core is actually all the muscles that surround your spine. So important to do the lower back, just to uh, you know, strengthen your lower back and everything. Keep it strong, prevent injuries. So that's a whole core workout. There's a lot of different variations you can do with that. This isn't the only the only ab exercise I do, I do different stuff. This is what I'm doing tonight though. All right, everybody's favorite friend on the elliptical and hitting the cardio. Uh, sometimes I do, I switch it up, but I generally try to do like 10 minutes at a good pace on here, keep my heart rate up. Uh, and then I'll go over and hit, hit one of the treadmills. Sometimes I'll do like, I'll do a good incline like with a, a brisk walk. Sometimes I'll jog, but roughly 20 minutes of cardio after every workout. Got to get that post-workout protein shake in. Just a little whey protein, y'all. Yeah, I mean, I, I do, I make my own protein shake, which I'll do a video on that also. But this is just sometimes a quick, easy way to get some protein in quick. Oh yeah, mixed up nice. Gotta love these blender bottles. Whoever came out with them is a great idea. All right, back to the house. All right, y'all, so back at the house now. I'm gonna go ahead and get this video edited up for y'all. Also, I got some CCRN stuff that I'm gonna review. Gonna plan on taking that. You know, it'll be good knowledge for me to have 
you know working ICU anyway it also looks good on my CRNA application anyway y'all thank y'all for watching thank y'all for coming along with me tonight hope everybody has a great day I'll see y'all next time Kevin Reese